Hey guys, it's JG here with Earth 5D, back for another pick a card reading, where you are the light and the light is the way. How's everyone doing today, guys? I'm on location here. I have a little bit different set going on, traveling and visiting some family here. So guys, we're asking the question today, what is my person's feelings versus their actual actions? Their feelings versus their actions, their thoughts, and feelings versus what they're actually doing and the difference between the two, okay? I'm so glad you're here, guys. It's your Earth 5D mom in the house and let's get right into it, okay? So we have this dove here for pile one. We have this couple facing each other here for pile two. And we have a lady in the light here for pile three. This is their thoughts and feelings, their actual thoughts and feelings versus their actions that they're taking in the physical. Take a moment to pick your piles, guys, and we'll dig right in. Okay. All right, guys, let's dig in with pile one. If you chose this white dove, this is the theme, okay, for you, Pile One. The theme of the overall reading, we're looking at their thoughts, feelings versus their actions in the, in the physical. So we have new beginning. A new adventure awaits, embrace it, and live dreams passionately. Beautiful, okay, so we have a new beginning here. I love that. Feels very refreshing. Energy coming through, guys. All right, so I'm gonna um, shuffle live here. So we have star. These are their feelings, guys. Six of air. We have the high priestess. If we might be able to get the tops of those cards for you. There we go. Three of Earth. Three of Air. So these cards are about their, their actual feelings. Okay, now we'll look at what they're doing in the physical. So, guys, I feel like with the star card, that they're getting insight from their light family, okay? Um, I do feel like this is about wish fulfillment. I feel like they're letting go of heartache. They want a better time. They want to make it work, guys, with the three of Earth. I feel like if you chose pile one, they do want this new beginning. They want to make this work. They want to sail to this better... I want to sail to this better place. See that, guys? So, with the High Priestess as a feeling for your person, I feel like they're getting, they're awakening their divine feminine side, and they want to give birth, right? This is about pulling something out of the ethers and grounding it on the earth with the Three of Earth. So, it's like they're getting a lot of intuitive hits from the, their light family about wish fulfillment and about change. Their intuition with the high priestess next to the star is really lighting up and it's not, you know, we have inner knowledge and then we have a kind of reception, re receptivity to our light family and the light beings that we um, get in touch with every day, you know, and if you, do, if you don't feel like you're getting in touch with your light family, that's okay, but they're here for you every day to talk to you, to communicate with you, and it's coming through in the terms of not only for you, but for your person, and I feel like that your light family is really coming through here to tell you that your person wants something better. Yeah, you guys are really mirroring each other. It's like you're the, your energy is really, uh, it's, it's like it's on top of each other, and it's the same. They're mirroring each other, is what I'm feeling. So, their feel in terms of their feelings, I feel like they do in their thoughts. They they're thinking about a new beginning and moving out of the three of air, moving out of that swords energy, 
So I've been really picking up on it and saying in my late my readings as of late that if you take the letter S off of swords, you get words, right? So your person is getting new words. They're getting new ideas from their light family and their intuition is coming through from a female divine feminine perspective to move this energy to a better place, a calmer place that's grounded. So this is the energy of shifting. This is the energy of change and shift. This is grounding and doing a good job together and getting praise and approval. It's like they want to move out of this, this heartache and they want to move into something more stable and solid with you. The three is the Trinity type of energy. So this is about you, your person, and your light family. And I cannot overemphasize that in this, in this particular reading. So with the new beginning here, this isn't about an adventure, okay? This is about living your dreams passionately. And I, look at, we're talking about an adventure. We're talking about taking the ship, moving to calmer waters. So I feel like this is here for you in terms of your person really um, feeling this. So whether you want this or not, I mean, this is up to you, of course, right? Um, but I feel like, this is brewing. <laughs> this feels like a brewing energy and your light family and your and the high priestess energy, uh, bringing, bringing divine feminine energy from the ethers into reality is happening. I really like to see the three of earth here. I think that's really significant to grounding the energy. All right, so let's dig in then to um, what they're actually gonna do in the physical, right? Let's take a look at what they're going to do in the physical. What are they going to do, Spirit? Let's find out. We need to know what are they going to do? What actions are they going to take in the physical, in the 3D? I'm so sorry for background noise. It's like unbelievable. I got all set up and someone turns on their lawnmower and is revving it. So I'm taking that as like a divine masculine like room, like revving up their God, I don't even know what, their testosterone, I feel like it. We have the hermit, so this is the action they're gonna take. We have the eight of fire. I'm just gonna raise my voice and just work through this. We have the eight of fire energy. So this is about taking action for sure. Passionate action, fast moving communication, fast moving passion. I typically read the eight of wands is about fast moving passion. Sexual energy flying your way is what it feels like. So the hermit, they're still very contemplative, five of water. They're still in the physical, they're still very much um, Moving out of disappointment, moving out of a disappointed place for that new beginning, guys. So if you chose by one, they want this new beginning, and I feel like they're going to act on it. With that eight of wands energy, it's so fast moving. So they've been in a place of this wants to come down. <laughs> so they've been at, look at, and I think the dove is significant. New beginnings and like this peace, right? I feel like you guys are longing for peace. This dove is like, look at that. <laughs> it's a very active energy right now coming through. So yeah, I can't help but feel it. It's super like, like flying towards you literally. We have the queen of water, this could be you. Water sign or just having a lot of emotions. There's a lot of energy moving through this table. So I'm not sure if you've been like doing your um, you're kind of your manifestation or you're sort of like spell casting in a, in a very positive way. But if you have, it's just like whoosh, moving through here. So we also have the sun. So whatever is going to happen, guys, it's going to be positive here. They're thinking positively. They're going to take positive action towards you. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. Look at how these, I think it's the wind just kicked up. I'm in like a sunroom. 
Okay, spirit, we're gonna pull this down. I don't know if you guys have been talking to your spirit guides and your person's been talking to his spirit guides, but there's just a ton of energy and movement working through this table right here. So I'm in the south too, so there's a lot of kind of spirit energy, you know, kind of uh, mystical energy where I am, part of the United States that I'm in right now. So I feel like their action in the physical and in the in the 3D is going to be a new start that that was born out of a lot of hermit time, a lot of quiet time contemplating. I feel like the sun is here and the time that they've spent in hermit mode has brought them a lot of happiness. And I feel like it's pulled them out of disappointment towards you and they want to move forward to create something new. So with the three of fire, to me, this is always about moving forward with optimism. It's, it takes patience, but they're going to move forward towards you with optimism. I think you can be optimistic about their movement of this new beginning. It's overwhelming. So there's a lot of water energy underlying their, um, their actions that are outward. And with the sun here, the sun pretty much trumps it all, pile uh, one. So if you, so in terms of in terms of the overall situation here, I feel like they've been getting intuitive hits. Their intuition is woken. They want positive results that are grounded. They want this kind of accolades. And they feel like you're worth it, is what I'm hearing. And so if this is a connection that you're separate from or that you're not, you know, if this connection isn't happening in the physical, I feel like you're gonna get your new beginning. Spirit said it twice, new beginning, and then we have the full card. So this is asking you to be brave and to keep your thoughts positive in the sun. And I do believe that if you're interested in this, that your person would like to move out of disappointment in the hermit mode and come towards you, the queen of water. So even if you're not a water sign, this person sees you as having a big loving heart and is attracted to that about you. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's like, oh my, this reading is wild. All right, so let's see advice here. Two piece of advice, pile one. We have the blanket, so you are safe, okay? You are safe, pile one. Hey guys, so that's what I see here. That's what I'm picking up for you, pile one. I hope this has assisted you. If you like it, make sure you like it, guys, and drop a comment below. I care about how you feel. Okay, we will see you then in the next reading. Bye for now, pile one. Alright guys, if you chose pile two, this is your reading. This is going to be the overall energy for your your reading today, pile two. We're asking the question, what is their actual feelings and thoughts versus what they're doing outwardly, okay? What they're actually doing in the physical 3D reality, their thoughts and feelings versus the 3D reality. So this is the overall energy for you, pile two, of the entire reading. So we have romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. Okay guys, nice. Pile one had so much energy coming through the table today. So I, some of you who are my current subscribers that are very loyal to the channel, you can see that I have a different background in traveling. I'm actually outdoors in like a sunroom type area. So there's a lot of energy flying through here. So let's look at your personal thoughts and feelings. A lot of spirit energy here. Four of Earth. Six of Air. All right, we have the Hierophant. This is our inner thoughts and feelings. We have the King of Water. Temperance.
Six of air, king of water. Four of earth, okay. Wow. Some more strong, strong feelings here. Okay, so, wow, where to begin? Their thoughts and feelings. All right, so the four of earth is coming out strong off the get-go here in terms of your person really probably holding back some of this romance. With temperance here, there's a blending going on. This is a spiritual awakening. No surprise, right guys? Because that happens a lot nowadays on the channel, right? So how do they really feel? They want, this came out in pile one. They want a, um, they want things to get better. Okay, so they've been holding back on their feelings and this is their feelings king of water so they have a lot of emotions that run deep for you in their heart and the reason why they even know this is because they've been connecting with the hierophant energy they've been connecting with that mystical place inside of themselves i feel like they want to make a commitment i think they're interested in making a commitment they're working towards making a commitment so we'll see what's happening in the physical. Um, I mean, with romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. So they have, this is this person, whether you knew it or not, you know, they have romantic feelings for you. And I feel like their heart's been hurt. And sometimes with the three of earth, we hold on too tight to control, you know? And I think your person's been doing that. Like they've been trying to control their emotions towards you because they're very intense. And they, I feel like they're on a roller coaster is the energy I'm getting. Like they're on this roller coaster and they're like up and down, up and down. And they're like, oh my Lord. So they might actually also be in a, on a roller coaster in their life emotionally. So I just looked outside and saw butterflies. So I think there's a lot of spiritual there's a lot of spiritual guidance that's happening to your person with the Hierophant. We also have the cup of the Holy, we have the grail here. And so I feel like they think of you as their divine counterpart. I feel like they think of you as like the ultimate female. Some of you actually might relate to the Magdalene energy. You might be coming from that Christ consciousness place where you guys are meeting there. But this is really ancient, um, very ancient symbolism on the table. Even the feather, right? All of these, the oil, the grail, the feather, the holy grail, the cup of, it's almost like the cup of Jesus. And I'm not sure why I'm focusing on this for you guys, but it's really coming to my spirit's really focusing on that right now. So there's something very special and mystical about you that they feel and it really draws them in. So if things have been rocky and they've been holding back, they have romance, they have romantic feelings for you. If this is someone who, um, maybe someone you don't know, they are, with the temperance card, the angels are working on them, you know? The angels are helping them to blend the divine masculine and feminine within them so that they could have bigger heart love, bigger heart space love. Their heart chakra is growing. Okay, so this is how they're feeling. So some of you, you might be in this holding back stage, but I do feel the ship is moving. Okay, so let's say the overall energy here is for the feeling for most of you. I take a resonance, guys, because it's not a private reading, right? We're covering up on a lot of people, so their energy as a group. So if you need help with your own private reading, my information is down below. I do feel as if overall feeling is romance coming from your higher from coming from your person's higher place and for this king of king of cups energy just feeling into it so I feel like your person is in the process of opening their heart space, guys. 
And that's what I see mostly, is that they're opening their heart space, they're getting these intuitive hits from you and the connection and, oh, you know what, you guys, that's crazy. I read this card as temperance. Some of you might've picked up on that already. Interesting. Okay, that is the devil energy. So I'm gonna take it both ways because I was feeling the energy of temperance. So, so I'm gonna, you know, take the energy, right? So a lot of you, <laughs> they have such different meanings. So there must be like a really big split here in uh, pile two. So with temptation, some of you, this is a third party situation and they're feeling tempted like with the devil energy to eat from the fruit of your tree. And they've been holding back as for some of you and for some of you yeah they just feel like um the devil has a feeling is kind of like a, a restrained type feeling right and we already have four of earth so some of them feel like a restrained type feeling and they're not they're not really comfortable with that so spirit's really working on them to to move to calmer waters in their heart so they can share their heart space it's interesting how the devil and the temperance energy. Look at this card, you know? It's kind of a soft card for the devil energy. And I'm feeling like that. It doesn't feel like too much bondage. It really does feel like temptation. So take what resonates, okay guys? Not all of you will be in a third party situation, but if it is, then you'll, you know, then you know. All right, so let's see actually guys, pal, too, what they're going to do in the physical. Let's see what they're going to do in the physical. What actions are they going to take? Some of you, if they really want to make a commitment to you, the that is often about commitment. What physical action are they going to take? Physical action. What are they going to do in the 3D? Mm, you guys are super mystical. We have the High Priestess and the Magician. You guys are like the perfect power couple of spiritual <laughs> spirituality. You guys are joining each other on this ascension path. I feel like you're both creating each other here. I wanted to get the tops of the cards. So I feel like you both are manifesting each other from the ethers to have this kind of wish fulfillment, to have this kind of grounded nine of earth energy with you. I feel like they, they just see you as such a valuable, kind hearted, talented soul they want to have this happy family life with you ten of water so i do feel like this is going to ground itself in the physical in terms of the ten of water you're going from someone who they see you as very grounded with the nine of earth and i feel like they're they're pat you know just have a lot of passion for you king of fire and the king of air okay so they're getting this mental clarity about the level of passion that they have for you. I feel like they're a very charismatic person. I feel like they're, um, maybe they are an artist or they're very creative. And in terms of the way they, they're gonna act, I feel like they're gonna act with passion. They might act in a theatrical way in terms of what they're gonna do. But they really are with the magician trying to manifest you. trying to manifest you see that and you're trying to manifest them with the high priestess oops so we'll just leave those petals there they're kind of pretty right so what are they gonna do I feel like they're going to such an interesting <laughs> energy I feel like you two are continually going to manifest each other. And because of these two kings, they're going to act upon their developed feelings with this mental clarity, with like a boss, you know? I think they're gonna take authority is what I'm hearing. Um, 
to follow their passion intellectually with discernment with um, analytical like with a lot of analytical they're, they're really blending a lot of their brain with their the, their passion their fire so we might be dealing with an air or a fire sign doesn't have to be um yeah i feel like they're balancing their passion with their intellect so they don't go over the deep edge deep end you know because i feel like some of them have very very strong feelings for you So this could be, you know, it's a classic. There's a lot of the situation out there where it's someone that wasn't expecting you or someone who wasn't, you know, anticipating because they were already with someone else. It doesn't have to be, but it could be that guys. And they see your value and your worth and they're like, dang, she's just, this is like a wish. This is like beautiful energy from this beautiful, fair woman who's strong and independent and calculated and grounded and successful and they want to take an action towards having this with you right so this is what they want to manifest currently in the physical with you which is the ten of cups which is a happy family life right so that's what i see guys so it's that six of swords energy coming out of that devil energy and trying to reconcile with that trying to Bring it to calmer waters, trying to bring that devil energy, the temperance energy that I that I was feeling over into that Hierophant kind of commitment, kind of that higher enlightenment. I mean, we have the Hierophant and the Magician. That's a crazy amount of divine masculine enlightenment. So some of you, this is someone who you're already married to, you know, someone you're already with. Some of you, you you know, you don't know this person and they're, and they will act upon these kind of feelings for you. They're manifesting them. And so are you. You guys are like a power, a spiritually advanced power couple. <laughs> With this, this is the perfect match in terms of um, the divine masculine and feminine creating together. This can also be just a symbol of them and, and their internal world and what they want to create in the physical because there's a lot of, and this is probably why I was feeling the temperance energy, there's a lot of blending of passion and thought, right? A lot of blending between magician and high priestess. There's a lot of coming together and blending of energy and coming towards you with the nine of earth. So the nine of earth in terms of action, yeah, it feels like giving you a family. The way these cards are together, you've been alone and they wanna give you a family or happy family. Okay guys, that's what I see for you. Their thoughts, feelings versus their actual actions. All right, pal two, I hope this has assisted you. If you like it, make sure that you like it and drop a comment below, guys. I care about how you feel. All right, we'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now, pile two. All right, pile three. If you chose this card, this is your reading. We're asking the question what are their thoughts and feelings versus their actual actions in the physical okay guys i am on location <laughs> welcome back to my channel this is my normal setup so i don't have my charms guys i'm vacationing i'm traveling basically and so my setup's a little different here but we are going to do it anyway we're going to keep moving through it and having a fun reading here so we're looking at their thoughts and feelings versus what they're actually going to do in the physical. So this is your overall energy, okay, for the entire reading. Pile three, a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. 
So if you chose pile three, you are on their mind currently as we speak when you get to this reading and they're feeling really inspired by you. They're feeling like, like your light is helping them get through this difficult time. Okay, so let's see what they're feeling. Let's go deeper into what they're feeling. They have that, that private message for you, so that's a really exciting way to start out a reading. Okay, guys. Thoughts and feelings we're gonna look at first, then we're gonna go into what they're gonna do about it. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands. This is the Messenger of Fires. This is the Knight of Wands. Wow. Hello, bird. We have the Four of Air. I'm actually gonna change my position here. There's a bird here that's like, hey, three of coins. Ten of air. I'm going to place that up here since we have double tens. Three of fire. Yeah, I'm gonna pull one more card for you guys because we don't have any major arcana and that's okay. I just wanna see if anything wants to come up. Grabbing two more, okay. So we have the High Priestess and King of Cups, okay? All right, thoughts and feelings. Wow. All right, so this person is having a hard go at it with the tens. But tens are completion energy, so I feel like we're moving out of hard times, moving out of that ten of air energy, moving out of that ten of wand energy. Hmm. This feels like someone that's really trying to know themselves. This feels like someone is really trying to bring love into their life and it's teaching them to sing a new song sort of thing. This is like the 10 of, this is the 10 of fire. So this is, um, they've been burdened, right? But you know what's been burning them is look at these, these are sheets of music that she's burning. There's 10 of them. So it's like, it feels like 10 burdens, 10 energies, 10, you know, 10 story songs that they've been telling themselves that um, are coming to an end because they've been causing a ton of air, right? They, they've been causing um, a stuck energy, okay? And that's coming to completion. It's coming to, it's like the difficult times are over. And I feel like they felt like this with you, right? Because we're looking at their thoughts and feelings towards you. So they're they're trying to tell themselves trying to write themselves a new song about you. And they've li they're likely to have been very contemplative about it with the four of air, meditating, thinking. So if your person, whether they're male or female, they're working on the divine feminine inside of them. So this is much more of a receptive energy. That can be very difficult. Um, it's something I'm also working on in my life and, and my clients seem to be working on it quite a bit too is like learning to receive right guys and so you guys are working with a person here that you're asking about this learning to receive and likely it's they're learning to receive from you <laughs> yep they're learning to receive from you 
And so you, you could also be marrying each other. You could be learning to receive from yourself, right? Because as within, so without. So I feel like you're working on learning how to receive, and they are too. And their message for you is like, listen, your light, no matter how hard it's been, no matter how much resistance I have at times, you know, I'm thinking of you and they're recognizing your light and it fills them with love. So you could also be represented in this reading as the high priestess and that's how they see you and that's how they're feeling about you in terms of not their feelings, but how they see you. That they see you as a, a beacon of light and high priestess is also about recept receptivity in terms of manifestation. So they might be relying on you heavily to carry this energy through and that might be kind of weird for you because um, you might be used to the man taking action and carrying the weight here. Um, but I feel like you are, the female energy here is the strong energy coming through. So it's not a masculine energy of, I you know, it's a receptive energy of flow I woke up one day this not too long ago with a vision of flow versus form and this energy is the flow energy their person's feeling so i feel like they're trying to go with the flow towards you three of fire this is a beautiful energy i have to say guys even when we have the tens some of you are used to seeing those tens and like thinking the very worst but i feel that no this is a beautiful energy of transformation The Divine Feminine Energy is here to help you, to assist within this person. So Three of Wands I was just holding up, this is about you know patient, patiently waiting for your ship to come in and I feel like it's going to. So they're, they're, they're patiently observing this. And then we, here we have the Three of Earth and the King of Water. So King of Water has been showing up a lot in this reading. Three of Earth is um, this grounded energy of just doing good work, of being recognized. I feel like your person is recognizing their, their grounding with recognition. Um, their feelings towards you in a deeper level, king of water. So here's this masculine man energy, male energy, trying to create some structure and form with this flow coming in. So you're real flowy and they're like trying to balance that. They're trying to balance that. So there's a lot of passion here. I do feel like your person is a fire sign. I feel like they operate from a fire sign energy, even if they're not. I feel like they operate, yes, from a fire sign energy. So they wanna come forward and they're waiting for their moment. So let's, let's take a look at what they're gonna do. But in terms of their feelings, yeah, they're feeling like this receptive energy towards you that's opening their heart space with the king of water and their, their emotions are running really deep and it's making them want to come towards you to ground the energy of the three of coins to do good work with you, to ground it and kind of see this be a success. See this come to fruition with the three is a trinity energy too. It's like. I feel there's something sacred here in their heart towards you. And that's what we get in the overall message, right? They're thinking of you at this very moment and they love you. Thinking of you in this very moment and they love you. You bring them light, okay? All right, so let's see what they're gonna do about it. In the physical. What are they going to do about it? been so deep in the energy like what time is it where am i <laughs> sometimes i get really lost in these readings okay so what actions are they going to take in the physical Empress with the King of Fire. So we see the progression from the knight to the king in terms of their feelings versus their actions.
queen of fire, king of fire. Feels like a divine union. Ace of fire. Queen of earth. Mm, so much feminine energy in your reading. Aha, uh -huh. and so this the big guy came out. <laughs> A lot of daddy energy, right? I feel like Spirit's letting you know with all these couple, the, 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 these pairings that, and we also have the lover's card, that these matched pairs, so we have see the king and the queen of fire, we see the uh, empress and the emperor energy, that the actions that they take are going to be in line with what you want to happen. Like you're syncing up with this new ace of new ace of wands energy. So the person has mutual feelings for you, and they're going to act in a, in a way that's mutual to what you would like. So it's about they are making a choice. They're choosing to be honest with themselves. It's the seven of air. So. Yeah, it feels like they're going to be honest with themselves and work on what they've planted, all the seeds they've already planted on with you. They've already been working on this. I feel like from many of you chose pile three that they already have been working on this connection with you. So this might not be about a new person. Take what resonates. And if it is about a new person, they remember you or all the work that they've done before they met you is causing them to have an honest recognition of you. Okay, so what I feel like they're gonna do is they're gonna take an action. Um, they're gonna make a decision to come towards you in a mutual way. Why? Because you guys are really in your power together. We see a lot of power couple energy today. So you guys are coming forward in this kind of mom and dad energy. It's like taking it out of the ethers and bringing it into the physical, into your power in a balanced way. So you guys are very balanced. A lot of grounded energy here. So I feel like this is either happening now or very soon. Because you guys are the love of a lifetime, you know? So when when the lovers is here, right? The wind is blowing, I think a little, and it's blowing this down. When the lovers is here, right? We often think of it as a decision, right? But it's also like, look at the maturity involved in this decision. It almost feels like marriage. What action in the physical it feels like a marriage because you guys are showing off in your, in your, in such strength. Why do I say that? Because the, the empress is like all four queens. The emperor is like all four kings. And it's like you're choosing that love between each other, the evolved, the evolution of this. So that's what I think he's going to do, or she's going to do, is to come forward with an ace of fire to ground this energy, this feminine energy, the high priestess that we saw. It's like the high priestess is getting grounded. You could be an earth sign. You don't have to be. I see a lot of fire energy here as well. Yeah, but this is just, this is like the six of earth is just feeling very mutual here. And then we have the king and queen of fire. So you guys might really be both fire signs having this new energy of, the, this is a new beginning for you guys. So I feel like you're gonna get that passion because your person's going to get real honest with themselves. And you're going to be that perfectly, you know, that perfectly blended. Emperor, Empress energy. So they're going to move forward with authority. That's what they're going to do. In a real balanced way of the divine masculine and feminine. They're going to get honest with themselves. That's what they're going to do to have this king and queen energy manifest on the earth. So there's a deck that I have that the seven of earth, so their person's giving you good energy. They're invested in giving you good energy. That's something they wanna do. Okay guys, 
So expect an action that's passionate. A new act, like a new, could even be a romantic gesture. They might just reveal their feelings with the Seven of Swords, but they're going to do it in a very balanced way. This is very mature energy. If you chose Pile 3, let me get you one bit of advice, guys. I feel like you could use it. What advice does Pile 3 need? Nurture. Self-pleasure and care is needed. Love yourself, guys. You know, you're, what this is all about your person. Let, let's not forget about you. So love yourself. Nurture yourself. Give yourself some love today. Self-pleasure and care is needed. Nurture. Nurture you. You want to make sure that all of this is good for you. You want to make sure that you're done with all this, you know? And that you're feeling good about this love of a lifetime. One more card here. Let's see. Yeah, it does feel like a serious energy. So bring some comedy in, guys. You need to laugh. It's good. And vibes. This is about connecting your person telepathically. This could be very much a divine union with the king and queen of wands showing up with the emperor and emperor, emperor and empress energy. Taking very developed action and mutual action is what I'm feeling. All right, probably that's what I have for you today. I hope this has assisted you. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and like it and um, drop a comment below. I care about how you feel. And if you think someone else would benefit from this reading, make sure you pass it along. All right. Much love and light, Earth 5D. So glad that you're here, family. And we will see you in the next reading. Bye for now.